Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back again with another haunted doll. Now this one has no name, but they're selling it on Etsy and it says, Haunted doll, extremely active, not for beginners, and it's going for $95. Under the overview, it says, vintage item from the 1970s, height 18 inches, width 4 inches. Now the description says, Chrissy's Enchanted Dolls, German China Porcelain Doll, no name. Okay. I love scary dolls and collect them for my yearly Halloween display. But I have some that are totally scaring my children to the point I need them gone. These two dolls listed were purchased from a flea market from a gentleman named Zachary. He was adamant when he sold them all to me because he didn't want them in his store any longer. I was very intrigued and decided to take him up on his offer since I am a collector of the strange and unusual. Well, these dolls are definitely that. Just taking the pictures made something show up in one. Bid at your own risk because I don't want these back. I tried to return them to the flea market and he said, no way. His security service finally stopped waking him at all hours from his alarms going off. He didn't mention this when I purchased them. So if it were just my husband and myself, the sounds and talking wouldn't be a bother. But it's keeping my children awake, so I've decided to get rid of some of my collection for now. These should be purchased for entertainment purposes alone. Please ask questions prior to bidding. All sales are final and, again, we don't want them back. Creepy as hell. Please give her a home. My children are terrified. They think she calls them to the attic. I took them out of the attic. Then about an hour later, I heard a loud commotion coming from my laundry. One doll was out of the box and she was just staring up at me. No refunds. Please also note that I am also not responsible for what happens in your home once in your possession. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> how creepy. <laughs> now, I don't know. I think she's cute. She She's a cute porcelain doll, I guess. Just what makes her creepy is like she's kind of like pale, right? She has like that pale look to <laughs> To herself and I don't know why all these dolls that I find on Etsy have such messy hair like can they comb it out or something before they post pictures and try to sell them <laughs> I don't know I just thought it was I thought it was funny but yeah and she has such a cute little pearl necklace around her neck I don't think she's creepy at all what's creepy is the story behind it like you know, it's really creeping out her children and her family, so she just wants to get rid of it. And my goodness, though, this one is going for like $95. That's insane. I wouldn't pay $95 for that doll, <laughs> especially knowing that it's haunted. Hell to the no. I like reading stories of haunted dolls, but I would never own one unless it's a replica of like Annabelle or something like that. Then that definitely I would love to own someday, <laughs> but not the real one. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, stay tuned to my channel for more. I'll see you guys in my next video.